evening by the magic of television, Alan Wilder and Martin Gore. Hello, boys. Hi, Muriel. Hello, <laughs> Muriel. Martin, unfortunately, I'm sorry about this, it was only Martin, was described recently yeah. in the New Statesman as the sexiest man in rock and roll. Now, what have you to say to that, Martin? Yeah, I'm glad uh, someone started noticing it. <laughs> and what I'm going to do now is ask you to stand up, because I've noticed you're wearing your belts in an extremely interesting way, and perhaps the viewers would like to copy this. I think I can do that. Oh, go on, stand up, let's see. <laughs> now, is that holding everything in place? Nothing uh, slips out? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it's stunningly attractive. <laughs> now, you've, you've just done a tour of Poland, you're telling me. Well, how, did, how did you do that? Well, a few we months ago. We did a gig in Poland. It wasn't, it wasn't exactly a tour. We went to Budapest and Warsaw. And we tried to also line up a gig in East Germany and Russia, but that didn't happen. But at least we got to those other places. So how did you manage to get the gigs that you did do behind the Iron Curtain? Was that hard to organise? We just told our agent we wanted to go there and time to get on with it, really. What kind of reactions did you get from the fans over there? Good, yeah. Yeah, very good. It was the uh, concerts were sold out, you know. Played a football stadium in Budapest on my birthday. Very good, you know. <laughs> but they were very reaction. enthusiastic. Yeah, very good, yeah. Can they buy your records in Poland? I think with difficulty, yeah. They've been no. I don't think there's not actually records released, are there? They're starting soon. We've actually got a deal that, that's sort of <laughs> starting with the next album. But um, Shake the Disease, our last single, was the number one radio hit over there, although that wasn't available in the shop. And a few people had like cassettes that they got on import or whatever, you know, they found them somewhere or other. Mm -hmm. Or for political punishment, they, they make them listen to mm -hmm. Depeche Mode albums. <laughs> They're all very familiar with it. The, your singles have been very consistently good pop singles. They always get to sort of roughly the same place in the charts. Do you ever get a bit bored by being mediumly successful? I think, I think we do, yeah. Um, I think we would probably like to be more successful. But then again, we don't want to do all the really, really tacky things you have to do to maybe get further up the charts. So it's a bit of a difficult situation. Sometimes as well, I think England's more boring than most territories for us. Because you know we we do a bit better in a lot a lot of Europe now, so that that gives us a bit of excitement at least. Right, well, I'm glad you have a bit of excitement. I've had excitement talking to the sexiest man in rock and roll and the second sexiest as well. And talking about very sexy rock and rollers, here's the first one from a music shed. It's the 